Hello and thanks for joining me again for another episode of Goblins of Elderstone. Uh, picking up where we left off last time, we finally got our burrows up and running. And you can see when you click on it, it shows you the tunnel and which other one you go to. So if you want more, they don't connect up in the network. You have to build another one and then another exit. But that is helping us out. We're in the process of building a Warrens. As you can see, we have a lot of babies coming. We're probably going to want another one after we've built this. Uh, we're getting our mine up and running. And we are at the end of winter. We've had the attacks. Um, so hopefully we can get this mine up and running. Yeah, we're near capacity. That's fine. We're about to build that. Now... Just lost a woodcutter of old age. Uh, okay, that's strange. Did we? I think we replaced him in the last episode, and I just hadn't uh, hadn't done that. There he's there. He's. No, that's a scavenger. No, he is a woodcutter. Voila. What is... Ah, it's that log there. Okay. I thought it was the body of the dead one. So... All right, so we do have, yeah, we do have two woodcutters in there. Uh, we're going to want another kindler as well. Um, the firewood is going down. It's going to be going down again as we build more and more warrens and other buildings. I want a pretty high one in there. We do want our firewood to keep coming up. Uh... Do need this mine up and running. It's almost built. Gonna get a couple of miners in there. There is this Warrens down here that we're building. That's almost built as well. There was a bit of a shortage of logs. Yeah, I think in the last episode we did just uh, put new woodcutters in here and we've now got four working, so those logs should catch up. There's our stone mine, finally. So let's get some guys in here. Now, what do we got? I think we'll put a four in there. Hello. I think I'll save the five. We're going to want decent ones in our brewery when we get that up and running. This one's a three with speedy. Uh, we may need these faith ones. I think I'll put that three in there and I'll put the other four in there. We should have some more babies coming soon. Yeah, that one's almost coming. It would be nice to see sort of what sort of stats we can expect from them. Would be a bit helpful in planning. We'll get this stone coming in. Um... So that we can get our brewery up and running. So that'll be really handy. How are we doing here? Right. Almost done. A few more logs. Yeah. Another couple more loads of logs and they'll be done. Now, we should have the trader coming along soon. We're about to pass into spring. Okay, we've got another one coming there. What did we get? Another four. I think I'll save that one. 
still want to keep peons working. Uh, I'm going to get them bringing this stone in as well. So I think what we'll do, see if we can get them to clear out that rock there. And some of these around here so that we can... Uh, Oh, there's our woodcutter that died. We'll put him on a priority cleanse. We'll clear. Make sure one of our priests comes and gets rid of him so he doesn't come up as a zombie later on. Because if you don't clear out your corpses, you've got seven years and he'll turn into a zombie. You don't want to leave corpses lying around. You don't want zombies popping up in your village. This guy's heading off to work. Is that the hauler? Uh, yep, that's the hauler. Oh, that's one of our guys doing the firewood. So, and you can see our mine requires firewood as well. Every building that we need requires firewood, so our firewood... And you can see it's only half full. This warrens is not full. Our church, or our temple rather, is not full. So we don't, even though it shows we've got a lot of firewood, firewood does become a hassle. Alright, so we've come into spring. I'm going to turn these guys off with the bone. We have a little bit, we don't need a lot. We do need this herb coming in. They'll also collect the hemp. Finally our warrens is done. We're going to need another one very soon, I think. And a merchant is on the way. There he is. Right. Let's see. We don't need this many weapons. At least not at this stage. At this point, the only people that we've had doing any fighting is our chief and our king. Uh, let's see. We can also afford to sell some of this cloth. I think I'll sell 32 of that. And I might get a couple of tools in. Get a couple of extra tools in so that we're not behind when we uh when we put our brewery up. And that'll leave us with a little bit of cash. Don't really want to sell any of the rest of the stuff that we've got at the moment. Bit low on the berries too. So uh, what we might need to do... Where's that berry bush? We're going to put a prioritise on that. Get those berries coming in. Okay. So... We're starting to get the stone in. There's our brewery. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put it over here, connected to the new storage. Get them starting to build that. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to manage to... I don't think we're going to manage to get a shaman hut up there before the next winter. So we might have to end up putting in a, a tower, a watchtower down here. We'll see how we go. So we've got our kindlers, they're on low productivity. productivity because they've got no logs. Uh, maybe we'll dedicate one of these guys just to do standard hauling. Make sure goods are getting to where they need to be getting to. Do want to put another scavenger in here as well. 
speedy is good for a scavenger. Okay. Yeah, did they clean up that rock? They did. Get them working on that one. What do we need here? We need six more stone from the mine, not the rocks. And we've got that in storage. I think this guy's delivering it now. At least delivering some of it. Yep, so we should have our brewery up and running finally. More adults joining. We are going to need another Warrens pretty soon. Yeah, coming to finish off the build on that. Coming to the end of spring. And we've got surplus stone, which is good. Let's see. It's our weaver. It's on low productivity, but that's fine. Like, we don't go through a lot of cloth. At least not at this stage. We've only really got the one temple that uses the cloth. We are going to have more temples later on. Okay, finally, our brewery is done. Now, low faith, one goblin. That's fine. They'll catch that up. Okay, we've got a hard worker, but he's only three, three in trade. We've got a five there, but that's a faith one. We might need that if we need to chuck up another temple pretty quick. So we've either got a four or we've got a speedy hard worker. I'm putting the five in. I don't want to put that five because she's he's the best faith one that we've got. And we may need that one. I think I'll put the hard working three in here. And hopefully hopefully we can start supplying your beer. Now I'm also I'm gonna turn off the ale. Now, I haven't actually got to a point where my goblins have demanded ale. Uh, the only time I've needed ale is sometimes I have had a request from one of the gods. And speaking of the gods, it's Iridan. Has just awoken and demands worship, so we need to build another temple. And I think it is Iridan that actually requests ale so let's see where do we want to put this this temple in here somewhere let's see if we can uh, bridge them up maybe I'll put it back here Yeah, we'll put it there. Now that's going to take planks. We've got the planks. The rocks. We are having a bit of a shortage on rocks and our tools. Uh, let's see what we're doing down here. Can't mine that rock or those. But we can get them to clear that out. Okay. So we should start getting some beer in here. We do need them to deliver the herbs into there. We're delivering firewood into there first. Let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, more babies on the way. Need this 
to be built. We are going to need another warrants pretty soon as well. So, see how we go. Okay, they've got herb in there. They're starting to make beer. This guy's been waiting for their beer for a long time. Merchant's about to go, which means summer's on the way. Uh, got these guys still bringing in herb. See, they're still slow on the hemp because that's miles away, but like I said, we don't go through a lot. I mean, we sold off some of our cloth and we're already back up to 32, even with our weaver on low productivity. Uh, once we've got this other temple, though, it's got all of its goods, but no one's building it. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so this one's for Iridan, who has awoken. And you can see the one, that is how many temples we have for that god. This one needs a temple. Pop him in. And put in our priest. We wanted that six. Now these guys here can only do a faith job. But with a faith of two, that's shit. And the same as that one. Uh, maybe one of these would be good in a voodoo hut. So they're starting to get a bit old by the time we get that. Now our next best faith, really, I mean these guys all have a zealot trade but they're all shit at faith. I think we're better off with the five in there. You can see now we've got the two followers of Iridan and they'll go out and spread the faith on that one. And that is going to demand two cloth and another 20 firewood. So you can see our firewood is dropping. So we do need to keep on top of that. We may even need another kindler. But now if we have a look here. Is that Uridin? Let's... Uh, Let's see here. We go up to our spell book. It'll show you the spells that these gods give us. And we get this passive bonus now with the additional two additional sticks and two additional logs. Uh, we've got that pretty much as soon as we put Uridin in our temple. So that's going to help with our log situation. So what we might do from here, got a random event here, these both greyed out, so we can only do this one, we're either going to gain 5 faith or 30 juju, got 5 faith, okay, could have done with the, the juju but that's alright. Okay, so we're producing beer. We are starting to have some people actually drink it. Hopefully we can catch up to it. We're keeping some herbs. So hopefully we get uh, enough herbs collected to uh, sustain us through the next winter. Okay, so I think the next thing that we need to do is we're going to need to get this iron up and running into our trade, the iron mine. Now yeah, we're still having a bit of a shortage on these rocks. Let's see if we can get this built though. Pop that in there. I mean they cleaned up that little rock no they're still going on it yeah all right that one's next and we also need them collecting berries and now we have a need for voodoo i believe it is going to be our temples no it's not our temples 
It is not. Okay. I'm not sure where they want the voodoo. But we do have a need for it. Uh, is it in a grand hall, maybe? No. But uh, we are showing that we do have a need for the voodoo. I think maybe our priests use it. Let's have a look. Uh, he needs cloth, frogs, berries. Alright. So we're going to need a voodoo, huh? What do we need to build that? Tools. So we can't build that yet. We need the iron mine up and running. And we need a blacksmith. These guys are brewing beer. We're actually in surplus of beer, which is good to see. Still on a shortage of rocks. Uh, we're going to keep them collecting these loose ones around because they're blocking off our space where we might want to build or put a bridge over. Uh, our berries. Berries are low. Our warrens. We need another warrens. It's going to take up more firewood. I'm going to put a guy strictly on collecting berries and I leave them all on putting out fires because that could be important I uh, might actually have two dedicated just to collecting berries we uh, we don't want to go through the winter without any and as we're on a bit of a shortage of, of rocks I think I'm going to put one dedicated just to rocks as well. So that's the advantage of having your trade hall or whoopie prints, trade prints in there, is that you can, you can assign those tasks to your peons. Just need to remember to go back and reveal it once you take peons out of the peons and actually put them into a job. Yeah, we are going to desperately need another Warrens and I'm pretty sure we're going to need to get another Kindler going as you can see our firewood is dropping drastically uh, can we bridge that uh, I think once we get rid of that stone we might be able to breach it out enough to uh, to actually get to both of those. Oh, we can get to both of them. Yep. Just. So I'll pop that Warren's in there. All right, so. So we're getting our uh, iron mine running. We're producing beer. We're in surplus of beer finally. Uh, we have got the herbs coming in, so hopefully they'll be able to keep making beer during the winter. And we've now got two gods. So I think what I might do is we might actually leave it at that point for now. And we'll pick this up in our next episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like, leave me a comment down below. And if you do want to see more, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.